Hello everyone, welcome my RevitMQ course in SPNet Code 5. It's a, uh, another series of uh, RevitMQ or you can think uh, message broker, how can we use, how can we complete our feature using RevitMQ and uh, this course is very helpful because in this course I will teach you every uh, scenario how to set up RevitMQ uh, how to manage RevitMQ, RevitMQ admin portal and many more feature you will learn from this course and here you uh, you get the information topic we learn what is message broker set up RevitMQ and management portal in docker uh, we learn the mass transit uh, framework that it's not a library it's a application framework application framework and discuss RevitMQ admin portal is very helpful for uh, need to understand and we then we start our hands-on practice and what is the prerequisite of course is a basic knowledge of C-sharp uh, basic understanding of SPNet code uh, in, uh, in this series I am using SPNet code 5 and the desire to use the brain given by God okay and you know me i have a several courses in udemy and youtube channel also so if you feel any problem and then please please discuss with me using mail or github stack overflow you can ask any question in stack overflow then uh, forward the message for me for the for the question for me to provide some guideline okay and you also find me in linkedin i always present in linkedin 24 7 okay bye bye next part i am showing you why our revit mq is needed or message broker is needed okay bye bye